a middle-aged woman with idiopathic severe subglottic stenosis presents for resection. She has a history of uncontrolled gastroesophageal reflux and the decision is made to pursue awake intubation. Prior to entering the operating room, the patient received 0.2 milligrams of IV glycopyrrolate and oxymetazoline spray to both nostrils. After reporting the dryness of her mouth, she will be prepared for awake intubation. Two swabs with approximately 50 milligrams of 5% lidocaine ointment are placed into the nasal cavity along the floor of the nose. The swabs are inserted until the patient grimaces and then left in place. Attention is now turned to the oral cavity. A folded gauze is placed on the patient's chin and the patient is asked to extend the tongue. The gauze is wrapped around the tongue, giving the operator firm control. New swabs, each containing approximately 50 milligrams of 5% lidocaine ointment, are now placed against the palatoglossal arches. Pressure is again halted if the patient grimaces or gags. As the operator holds the tongue, he will take the opportunity to insert the nasal swabs deeper into the cavity until the patient appears uncomfortable. Prior to this, the patient has received one milligram of IV midazolam, a Remy fentanyl infusion of 0.1 mics per kilo per minute has been begun. After approximately five minutes, all the swabs have now been removed. A folded gauze has again been placed on the patient's chin. The patient has been asked to extend the tongue and the tongue has been wrapped and controlled. The operator now takes 10 cc's of 2% viscous lidocaine in a syringe fitted with a plastic catheter and while holding the tongue, gently and slowly discharges the lidocaine on the back of the tongue. The operator continues to hold the tongue with the gauze to prevent the patient from swallowing the local anesthetic and to encourage aspiration. An ovisapien airway has now easily been placed through the oral cavity and into the pharynx. With minimal sedation, the patient is still awake, conversing with the operator, and smiling during conversation. The operator uses a flexible intubation scope to examine the stenosis and apply 4% lidocaine solution to the larynx.
after the application of local anesthetic, the patient is given a brief rest period where the ovisapien airway has been taken out. The patient reinserts the ovisapien airway on her own. The operator, using the flexible intubation scope loaded with a 7.0 tracheal tube, is now ready to intubate the patient. Using the flexible intubation scope, the operator inserts a 7.0 tracheal tube just above the level of the tracheal stenosis. The flexible intubation scope is removed. The patient gives a thumbs up. And is induced under anesthesia using the inhalation of sevoflurane.